Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install Docker in Windows Server 2019. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing first, you have to make sure that you are up to date with updates in your Windows Server 2019. So for that you go to your search here and you just type update and here we go you go to windows update settings okay and here you can see that my system is up to date so now i can begin the process of installing docker on windows 2019 okay so in order to do that we have to install a containers feature in windows okay so i explain that so by default this feature is not installed so we have to install it so if you go to your server manager here you go to your manage add roles and features and here you just hit next it's role based on feature based installation okay and here you choose your server so in this list of server roles or actually features there is here a feature called containers okay so we want to enable this feature but here i will go just using powershell in order to install that because you know when you are using docker the main tool that you are going to interact with is powershell so let's actually exit for that and here in the research you type powershell and always make sure to run powershell with administrator privileges so in order to avoid any permissions issue okay here we go so the first command that I will execute actually is the command that would allows me to install the containers feature in Windows Server 2019. So this is the command and of course all the commands here that I'm using under PowerShell will be actually put in the description of this video. Okay, And you hit enter. So you have to wait a little bit in order for that to install this model. Here we go. Now you have here to confirm with yes. So I will just hit enter, but you can also type Y if you want. Here we go. So now, as you can see here, the PowerShell get model will be installed in order to install the containers feature. So as you can see here, the installing package docker msf model is being installed. Here we go, it's finished. So now that we have installed this feature, we have to install Docker. So we'll be using this command here, install package. The name of the package is Docker and the provider name is Docker MSF provider. I will hit here under. And as you can see here, I have here, I have to answer, are you sure you want to install software from Docker default? So here it's better to hit yes to all. So I'll tap A and now we'll hit enter. okay so now as you can see the package has been installed it's docker version 20.10.9 okay 
and here is an important message here restart is required to enable the containers feature okay so please restart your machine okay so let's restart our machine here so for that we can just use this command here restart computer dash force here we go and now our server is restarting Okay, so now let's verify that this feature, the containers feature that we have installed before, has been successfully installed. So we can go to manage, add roles and features. So I will go to here next, next, next. And if I go to features, Indeed, you can now see that the containers feature has been installed. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And let's run once again our PowerShell in order to confirm the installation and always run it as an administrator. Okay, here we go. So the first command that we gonna execute, of course, is to verify the version of our Docker. So I will just type Docker version. Here we go. So as you can see, the Docker comes with two actually programs. One is for the client and one for the server. So here you can see the version of the client, which is 10.20.10.9. Okay. And the same things go for the engine or the server version, okay? Let me clear that. You can also execute the command docker info in order to get more information about our docker, okay? And let's try to run our first docker image just to verify that everything is working properly so here the most common image that you're gonna download just to verify so you'll execute docker pool because you want to pull an image from docker hub and i will use the very famous one which called hello world so it's a basic image just to use for testing that you actually your docker is running and working properly so as you can see here the image size is about 103 megabytes and now you can see that we have actually downloaded the image you can verify that using the command docker images here we go you can see that the image name is hello world the tag is the latest the image id and it was created six days ago and the total size is 258 megabytes okay so now that the image has been downloaded we can run actually our first container so for that i will just execute command docker run and the name of our image which is hello world okay here we go so this is hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly so if you get the same message you can confirm that you has been installing docker and it was successful install okay and now you can run the most command that you can run under docker so docker ps minus a to say 
to see or actually show all the containers that has been run. So and of course our first image or container has been run 33 seconds ago and it was exited 30 seconds ago because there is no running processor into it. Okay. <coughs> And as a troubleshoot, if you didn't get the Docker, you should always check if the process is running. So if you execute the command get process, normally you should see a process name with Docker in it. So here you can see Docker D, which stands for Docker Daemon. So here you see that this process is running. So if it's not running, you can start the Docker daemon service in order to see that, okay? So that was just a brief introduction or quick video to show you how you can install uh, Docker in Windows Server 2019. As always, I hope that has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.